Well, good to be with you again this week as we continue our walk through the Word. Uh, today we're going to continue looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Hope you're getting something out of this. Uh, and uh, if you are, forward them on to somebody. Let me know you're watching. And uh, love to hear from you. If you're a pastor and you think I'd be a blessing to your congregation, I would love to hear from you. So we're going to look at uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter uh, 5, starting verse 6, and I'm reading out of the Amplified uh, version. Accordingly then, well, let's look at verse 5. For you are all sons of light, and or you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We do not belong either to the night or to the darkness. Accordingly then, let us not sleep as the rest do. Let us keep wide awake, alert, watchful, cautious, and on our guard. And let us be sober, calm, collected, and circumspect. First of all, much of the church is asleep today. I don't say that with joy, but much of the church is asleep today. They have no idea what's going on spiritually. They go to church every Sunday uh, as a religious exercise, but most are not aware of what the Bible says about the end times, because to be frank, uh, end time events are not really preached a whole lot anymore in the church today. But you and I are called to be awake. We're called to be watchful, looking at the times. And that's why I challenge you every week. Every week I come on these videos, I say, read your Bible. Why? So you'll know what's coming. So you'll know what to expect. So you're not shaken by what you see in the news. And so you can be watchful, ready, and you can tell others. Uh, let's face it, a lot of the world is in fear right now because of what's going on all over the globe. But you and I, we have nothing to fear because we know exactly how the book ends. Hallelujah. But we are to be watchful. Watchful for what's going on spiritually. You see, the devil knows that these are the end times and he's going to do everything he can to cause hell on earth. But you and I, we don't have to be afraid. Hallelujah. Because we know the greater one is in us. So let's pick up uh, verse 7. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But we, talking about believers, belong to the day. Therefore, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Faith and love protects the heart, protects the spirit man. Faith and love work hand in hand. If you're a person of faith, you're going to be a person of agape, the God kind of love. If you're a person of the agape, God kind of love, you're going to be a person of faith. They work together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our faith tells us that God the Father loves us and has our best interest in his heart. That he is working on our behalf. That his favor follows us wherever we go. Because he loves us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because he loves us, we extend that love to a sighing, dying, crying, hurting world. We extend the love of Jesus Christ. This world is in desperate need of its Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It may not know it, but it needs Jesus. You may think that your salvation comes in government. It comes in Jesus. Government can't save you. Government can't heal you. Government can't give you peace of mind. Entertainment can't do any of those things. Only Jesus Christ, through faith in his shed blood at Calvary's cross, can you receive peace, joy, love, comfort, healing for your body, power by the baptism in the Holy Ghost. All of that is only through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus went to the cross so you could receive all of that. Not some of that, but all of that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So friend, be watchful. Be of a sober mind and spirit. And know that you know that you know 
that God loves you, God's favor is on you, all through your faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I love you. And if I don't see you around town, I'll see you in heaven. <laughs>